Let's select a developer project as the metadata source, and we come to this interface. The first thing you'll need to do is select a project folder, and so you can browse for that project on your local machine and select it, and that will fill in all of this information. And then select what file format you want your project to be in. It can be in Metadata API file format, Eclipse IDE, or Salesforce DX. If you're not sure, Metadata API is kind of the general purpose format. And then you can select either a local project folder or a remote repository. If it's a local folder, we provide some tools to populate that folder. Um, in Salesforce DX, you can download packages or select assets and bring them in from orgs, but that's optional. You can also push and pull source to your project, which is again optional. But the main thing you need to do is to take a snapshot. That will finish the process and finish your, in this case, metadata source of information. If it's a remote repository, then you need to fill in this information for the remote repo and click the clone button. The clone button will clone the repo and make sure especially that your credentials are all working correctly. And then once again, when you're done with that, you want to take a snapshot of the remote repo. And just like that, you've established a metadata source of information. There's some interesting options right here. You can open the local project folder, which will open that project in Salesforce DX. You can launch the Salesforce DX command line, which is super handy if you want to just go work with the command line. And you can open the repo browser, which in this case is Git, but we support Bitbucket and Azure DevOps and all of that stuff as well. And then you can go work with your repo. And you can also export a metadata snapshot and import a metadata snapshot which is a great way to save this information for future use or you can restore it later. Or if you're working with multiple sources and destinations, you can just save those snapshots off in a folder and bring them in whenever you need them. All right, that's a quick movie about how to establish a metadata source that's a developer project.